Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Liberals furious over GOP candidate's pick. His response makes it even better. A Republican candidate for Kansas governor posted photos of his parade car, complete with a replica gun. Naturally, the limp-wristed liberals freaked out on social media. But this Second Amendment supporter put them in their place with just one perfect tweet. Chris Kobach is the Secretary of State for Kansas. He's also a hopeful in the upcoming governor race. As a proud Republican, he is a strong supporter of our right to bear arms. Over the weekend, he posted a few pictures of himself beside this piece of unapologetic Americana. He rode this impressively painted Jeep in the old Shawnee Days Parade. In addition to a paint job that would make any patriot come to tears, the Jeep was equipped with a beautiful LMG. Obviously, the mounted gun was a replica, something incredibly awesome to look at. Such a gun has been used by our troops for years. Mounted on similar Jeeps, they have been used to defend our country against tyranny and terrorism. From all appearances, the vehicle and its look were well received, except among liberals. Snowflakes could not even accept the fact that a gun-loving conservative from Kansas would ride around in a vehicle with a fake gun. Even fake guns make them scared. So, they took to social media to trash the candidate. Pastor Johnny Lewis of Shawnee Community Christian Church criticized the candidate in a Facebook post, saying his six-year-old child worries constantly about school shootings. Why was that necessary, Sewer? My child didn't need that today. Don't care what your position is on Second Amendment that is completely unnecessary, he said. Source, Fox News. It's shocking that a pastor would try to be so divisive. His excuse for attacking Kobach holds no water. Not once has a school been shot up with a replica LMG mounted on a Jeep painted red, white, and blue. Not once. The pastor was simply trying to score political points among liberals, hoping to slam this GOP candidate. It's not very spiritual of him, if you ask me. Yet he continued his rant, using the same manipulative tactics common among emotional-driven man-babies. My greatest concern today was not Chris Kobach's political position. It was that in a world where our children live with anxiety about school shootings and do intruder drills regularly that any politician thought it was okay to drive through a crowd of children with an automatic weapon pointed at the crowd, the pastor said. Source, Fox News. Those liberals complaining about Kobach's awesome Jeep betray their true motives. They know Kobach isn't a school shooter, nor does he condone such heinous crimes. What liberals are trying to do is make guns seem like an evil that must be washed from our society. Any positive depictions of firearms cannot exist. Like an Orwellian villain, they want to brainwash our society into fearing and hating guns. That way, nobody will want to own one. So they attacked Kobach with pathetic, manipulative statements connecting him with school shootings. As if this conservative was behind them. But thankfully, Kobach is not about to submit to the social justice mob. Despite the backlash, Kobach remained defiant. The outrage over the replica gun on the back of a patriotic Jeep is the left trying to attack guns in your hashtag 2 a rights. I will not back down in the face of a snowflake meltdown and outrage culture, he tweeted. Source, Fox News. That'll torch a few liberal losers. Kobach is standing behind every American that has become sick and tired of the weak, pathetic outrage culture that the left has created. Any little thing they don't like, they explode over. From innocent comments to a patriotic t-shirt, liberals ride over nothing. They want to censor what we say, do, and think, so that their biased, and bigoted, views aren't offended. Their ultimate goal is to make it illegal for conservatives to express their beliefs. And eventually, they want to deny us every last right protected by the Constitution. Thankfully, Kobach is one of the few politicians who isn't backing down. He is not willing to let a few loudmouths, silence the many. We need more people like this in our government, and fewer liberals. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.